Welcome drone video fans. Today we're going to be doing another video on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County. This one the Windsor Mills covered bridge uh, which is located on uh, Warner Hollow Road in the very southwestern corner of Ashtabula County. Uh, this bridge was built in 1867. Uh, the span of the bridge is 120 feet and it goes across the um, uh, Phelps Creek, which is a tributary of the Grand River. Uh, it's, you know, not very big, but it's, you know, big enough to require a bridge. Uh, the Windsor Mills Covered Bridge is actually located in the National Registry of Historic Places. Um, it, because of its location and the time it was built and so on. It was renovated back in uh, 2002, 2003, and then reopened for traffic back in uh, 2003. Uh, so at this point uh, we've established that my uh, XK X380 isn't going to do anything goofy and we're going to proceed forward and try and uh, uh, go across the bridge. As you can see there's um, quite a bit of growth uh, on either side of the bridge uh, in the way of trees and brushes. You also see on the road there's uh, some fresh uh, road apples uh, courtesy of a uh, young Amish lad who uh, traversed this bridge in his buggy just before I made this uh, shoot. So uh, I'm looking uh, at the um, east side of the bridge right now that has the sun on it because we were shooting this around 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, preparing to uh, make my first run through the through the center of the bridge. This bridge does have a metal roof underneath the asphalt shingle so it does block some of the GPS signals to my um, uh, drone which makes it a little bit hazardous. Uh, also hazardous is the amount of dust <laughs> blowing off of the floor which you can see here as I'm uh, going through the bridge. I do like the uh, lattice work uh, on the side by the windows which allows plenty of light to come into this bridge and um, you know gives uh, a lot of natural lighting and uh, kind of adds to the atmosphere. You can stop and look out those uh, windows and look at the uh, at the crook on either side. Um, it's also quite a bit of uh, graffiti scratched or written on the uh, post on the inside. I'm sure not by the uh, Amish kids in the area but uh, there's enough of uh, uh, regular uh, American kids uh, as, as this is in the uh, Grand Valley School District uh, that uh, probably um, come through here uh, since it's an out-of-the-way place, you know how uh, teenagers are. They look for out-of-the-way places to uh, to uh, get themselves involved in various activities. So we're uh, turning around here, and I'm uh, trying to decide whether I want to uh, sneak around a corner and get a look at the at the um, uh, creek itself, or maybe fly up over the top of the bridge and. Um, so kind of lining myself up here and um, even though it doesn't mention uh, the uh, you know uh, maximum height I believe the maximum height on this bridge is uh, around 11 feet so can't let anything too tall go through it. Decided at the end to uh, try to um, make a pass over the top of the bridge and once I got up high enough to see I could see that uh, there are, are trees with branches overhanging the uh, top of the bridge on either side making it a, uh, a little bit hazardous and, and uh, especially when you have to bob and weave uh, and um, you know, take the wind into consideration. There was a slight wind blowing plus uh, a little instability of the, uh, of the aircraft. You could see a, um, a log on the top of the of the bridge roof right there that was probably f fell off one of the trees that are close by. So I kind of inched my way out here towards the center of the bridge trying to decide if I wanted to go any further and I looked at the, all those trees and decided it probably wasn't a smart idea to try and uh, FPV it all the way across and then bring it back to me. So at this point I decided well I'll just put it in a hover here and hit my uh, panorama button on the uh, control and let the uh, the craft itself just do a slow 360 as it 
uh, turns and you're able to take into the um, into view the, the you know the surroundings lots of trees um, pretty wide open space but a, a very nice area nonetheless and as you can see the uh, sky was a nice blue so it was a pretty nice day to uh, do this shoot on the uh, 20th and uh, just kind of letting it finish its uh, panorama here and and uh, gonna stop uh, and look a little bit to the east here and see a bit of the uh, Phelps Creek and then back it off slowly past the uh, branches from the trees and decided to uh, call it good at that point I uh, didn't want to push my luck uh, uh, at all and uh, I'm going to get myself lined up here and we're going to uh, go back now through the uh, through the bridge in the opposite direction. We're going from now from north to south and again as we go through uh, you can notice the uh, dust being kicked up by the uh, rotors on the uh, drone and uh, also the nice uh, uh, light coming in on the sides from the from the windows. Uh, we'll get a view of the windows from the uh, west side here in a little while. Um, uh, it was, you know, fairly uh, clean on the inside except for some uh, graffiti there. Uh, but um, I guess that's to be expected. Uh, pulling out here, you can see my car in a small, <laughs> very small parking lot that they have here. Uh, you'd think that for uh, a bridge that's uh, located on the National Registry that they'd have a, a little more parking area, but uh, I guess it doesn't get all that much, uh, uh, that many people coming down to look at it. So I turned it around and uh, you know, looked at my chances of uh, maybe trying to sneak over on the uh, west side past all these trees uh, to get a look at the west side of the bridge and also maybe a little bit of the um, uh, Phelps River on, that are, that's on the, uh, this side. So as you can see, there's uh, tree branches. You also see leaves blowing out from underneath uh, the uh, drone as I get closer uh, and try to sandwich myself between the, uh, the branches of the trees and the side of the bridge. Uh, you can see on the side of the bridge here the, those uh, uh, windows that uh, were allowing in the light they're kind of framed in uh, nice job on that and I wanted to get a, a view of the center support of the bridge uh, too so uh, the uh, you can see the uh, between the wind and the uh, drone itself they were both acting up a little bit and uh, uh, that along with the tight spaces I was I was uh, you know pressed just to get this much footage here uh, and be able to see that center support and the west side of the of the bridge here um, which I thought came out uh, pretty well and you see a little bit of graf graffiti there somebody put it back in 1995 it appears so now we're uh, uh, gonna kind of turn around you'll see an occasional glare off of the uh, off of the lens of the camera due to the uh, bright Sun uh, I have to get some uh, filters for the for this particular camera uh, to make sure that that doesn't uh, occur again. But uh, overall, it was a, an enjoyable shoot. Uh, again, this was the Windsor Mills Covered Bridge, southwest corner of Ashtabula County. Um, it was built in 1867, and it's uh, 120 feet long. I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little shoot. And um, uh, as I said, it's in, in the National Registry. It's one to come and visit if you have interest in covered bridges. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one.